Thank you. And hello again. The last couple of times I've sat in this seat, I've spoken about newfound ways of expressing myself to include acting, singing, and other forms of expressivity, utilizing my physical apparatus. And all that's going wonderfully. It's um, not so important what you're doing is what influence are you under while you're doing it? Yeah. yeah. Under the influence of source. Is a regularity when I'm doing these things, given these words that I'm labeling them with. Increasingly so, I'm rendezvousing with experiences that allow that fruition to continue to expand. Yeah, it's the way it works, isn't it? Yeah, very easy. And in the new manifestation, new desires are being launched. Exactly. So there's always a gap. It builds upon itself. Yeah. I'm going to initiate a conversation with a different content of my life. Quick background information. Seven or eight years ago, I created or started a financial planning type practice created it profitably very quickly, thus a healthy stream of income and a very favorable work-life balance, which allowed me to find new forms of expressivity. Two or three years ago, let's say, for sake of the story, I um, attracted a loving wife and beautiful baby girl to myself. What initiated the profitability in the office when I first started, the pounding the pavement, the calls, all the traditional sales techniques, I quickly discovered that I enjoyed doing things other than that. It's not just that you enjoy doing things other than that. It's that at a very deep level of your being, you understood that action isn't what makes things happen. Yes. And so now I've created, just like you were describing to the gentleman here, maximize the things you enjoy and do the service things. I, I do that now. I only go in the office when I'm very inspired to and enthusiastic and I'm in the flow even when I'm in the office and I maintain my vibration within the office. And we want to clarify something here. When you are tuned into source and following that inspiration, you are of your greatest service to everyone and everything. Yeah. Yes. Because it's like you got to plug the vacuum cleaner in before it does any good. Yep. Most of the time when I'm in the office, things just naturally happen. Yeah. So clients are yeah. super appreciative. It's very easy. That healthy stream of income I created while I was a single man would appreciate being expanded <laughs> to... <laughs> now, I understand that the, uh, there are infinite ways for financial income to make its way to me. However, I've got a creation in place that's already set up. It's very easy for me. So it makes sense to point my attention to that. The bus is already riding. The doors are open. People just need to jump on. And you've, I've l listened to you in the past saying you don't need to do advertising. You don't need to make calls. Well, just... here's the thing. This is the perfect conversation for us to have on the heels of the conversation that we just had because you didn't hear what we were saying as clearly as we want you to. So we're going to emphasize those parts here. It's not easy to not notice what's going on. And so you're bringing that what's going on, not just to this conversation. In other words, not as much stream of income as you want is the simplest way of saying it. But it's not just that you're bringing it to this conversation right now. It's that that's what you keep noticing. Who wouldn't? We get that. But when we say you want to get out ahead of it, what we mean is you want to get off that subject because that bus that you were talking about already got filled up with everything that matters and is already in the vortex. It really is all done. It really is all gathered. But looking for it keeps you from letting it in. And looking for it in specific ways sometimes is an even bigger hindrance. So I don't feel like I'm really looking for it. I go in the office, I tend to the current client base and I leave. Well, we just mean that in the conversation that you just offered here and you want to say, what the heck, Abraham, here I am. You say no question off limits. So here's a question. And now you're saying that question's in your way. The basis of that question is in the way of the answer because the vibration of the question and the vibration of the answer are different. The vibration of the problem and the vibration of the solution are different. So if you could just hear us when we say the life that you lived, put what you want in your vortex 
And the contrast that you may be living is even putting it more in the vortex. And if you could really hear us when we say, there isn't anything for you to do about it. In fact, the less you do about it, the better it will go. Better said, the less you think about it. Because when you think about it, the vantage point from which you think about it is that it's not going. We know this is counterintuitive to the action orientation that you are all about. We know that it is, but we want you to step into the vibrational realm with us. Do you believe us when we say that there is a vibrational reality? We know you do. Do you believe us when we say that you are a vibrational being? We know that you do. Do you believe us when we say that things are in motion and if you don't get in the way of it, they will come to fruition. So what could you possibly be doing that is getting in the way of it? Taking score too soon. And so, Abraham, are you really saying that I should just really almost disengage? Yeah. I'll, I almost am from the actual management of it. And I find that the, the more I do, but, the but more... But you know what your story said to us as you sat down here? And what came out of you in words really is an indication of what's going on within you vibrationally. And it's all right. We get it. But... The story that you told us was when I was full of action and beating the pavement, I made big things happen financially. And now I have other interests and I don't feel like beating the pavement. And now those things are not happening. And there's a part of you that still thinks that it is that action and sacrifice that is the missing piece. We've kind of got you in a bind here because you can't go back to that. Now you're sort of in that place where hard action and sacrifice, we're talking to everybody, is not going to be a big payoff. It should have been on the disclaimer you signed when you decided to come here. You can't go back. I understand by signing this that I will never be able to go back to the time before I knew about vibration. So the action world that I used to live in and the hard work and sacrifice that I used to offer is not going to yield me the results that it used to ever again. I know too much. So now I got to go with vibration and you just haven't quite fully gone there yet. That's all it is. Okay. I hear what you're saying and I feel it. I'm good. <laughs> we're not contradicting you. So since you are good and we're not disputing that. And since we are on the same vibrational page about all of this, we're over time here, but we want to hear briefly from you, maybe a minute. We would like to hear from you a new and improved version of what you came here to talk to us about. We want to take that painting that you just painted and tune it up from your current vibration. Okay. Hi, Abraham. I'm a deliberate creator and I love being a deliberate creator and I like all the life that I lived before. I like everything that I've ever been because everything that I've ever been has led to who I now am. And who I now am is not just who you see sitting here in this magnificent body. Who I am now is also a vibrational being. Who I am now is not my current business status or financial status. Who I now am is my vibrational currency. That's who I now am. And in every moment of the day, I have awareness of who I really am and who I am. This is the new part. And I am working or focused to close that gap. But now I am hearing more clearly than ever before. You made me know, Abraham, that there is me and there is me. You made me know that there is me and that there is me and that there is a gap between me and me. And now I'm hearing that I want to put as much of my undivided attention as possible on this me, which means this me is looking that way because this me never looks that way. Ooh. Your inner being never looks back. So when we say get out ahead of it, we mean get out ahead of where you are by looking to where you already are out ahead of the manifestation of it. Get out ahead of the manifestation by feeling the vibrational frequency by feeling the prosperity, by not taking score. That's all. It's very subtle, fine tuning for you. We know you get this, but you did sit here and you did stir this up and you did <laughs> offer a vibration and we did 
acknowledge and we did feel your gap and it's not a bad thing to know that there is a gap we just don't want you to emphasize the gap we want you to just focus on where you're going 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 what is is irrelevant is unimportant well that's what I was looking for this is a good time for a segment of the session.